Hi you guys. Um, I'm gonna do my MUA review today. Uh, so I'm gonna do. I think I picked everything up that I got yesterday when I went. I'm not gonna miss anything. It was mainly eyeshadows. I got like seven eyeshadows. They're like a pound each. Everything's a pound. As I'm sure you know. Uh, I got a nail polish and two glitter eyeliners. So I don't usually do glitter eyeliner, but I thought four pound. I'll have a go. Now, I'll start with those because they're the ones that I've had a little problem with. Um, the blue one is pretty good. That blue, it is shade 9. It's kind of almost like an aqua blue. I know you can't tell in this light, but it is kind of like an aqua blue. It's, my hand. it's not it's not crazily got a lot of glitter in it. If you spread it around, it's quite, quite glittery and it's like a blue glitter. So you're getting it. This is what I found with the pink one. No end. Now it is actually in here somewhere. I think there in the bottom. Um so yeah. I can't really use this. I did put the applicator from this into this one just to see what it was like. But you can't really see the glitter, you can see bits of pink, but not pink glitter like you can see with the blue. And the blue is not I'll try and shade it a bit. The blue's not crazy but it is it is blue glitter. Whereas the pink I'm not even sure it's kinda like clear glitter and pink. You can't really even see it. It's not great. So the eyeliners aren't fantastic and it's okay if you want a little bit of glitter but they're not great. The nail polish I think is really really good. I got shade twelve. Um it's kind of like a pinkier version of something that I really really like. Uh, that I've already got and I used it today to put a little bit on my thumb and uh, it worked really really well it just came on, it was a little bit thin, you see a few coats but it wasn't streaky, it was a really nice coverage uh, in my opinion ok now, I've got quite a few eyeshadows let's see ok shade number 8 now I'll go, I've got to love them so I've really tried them all Uh, put a little bit of each on my hand as a little swatch so you can see what the colour turns up like. Sticky bits are so sticky. This kind of thing is the stuff that I could do before starting the video. Hmm, that would be a good idea. I don't feel like this packaging is very kind of flimsy. But all of the little hinges on the eyeshadows, they're really different. Like some are a lot easier to get into, some are really, some are really stiff and some are really. But they don't feel flimsy for a pound, they don't feel flimsy. Okay, so we'll start with these two because I've actually got these on today. These two, this is shade 7 and this is shade 14. Um, and I heard someone else um, liking this shade to a matte shade. I can't remember what it was called, but apparently it's kind of like um, it looks like a kind of dark, it looks like a dark gunmetal colour, but it's green. It's that colour. Can you see my eyes? It's the outer colour that I've got on. You can see that. It all kind of blends into one colour in this one, it's really terrible. But the inside colour is this one. I absolutely love this colour. Hardly ever wear green eyeshadow, but I'm all about those. I say I hardly ever wear green eyeshadow, I've got like three more. But this one. They're all nearly all pale finishes. So colours. That's that colour, and that is shade. This colour, this is shade 8, kind of a more blue, more kind of turquoise blue. I've got this green, shade 5. Oh, this is a lovely colour. This is kind of like a little bit of green, like a gold green. I can't see it great, but it does look a lot 
because it's quite light. I can't really pick it up. There you go. I can see with the frog wings. So yeah, some greens. Um, I'll just watch the few ones on so you can tell better than on my eyes. This is just a gorgeous colour. This one is the one that I like the best, I think. This one's shade 7. That's this one. So it's the dark one at the top. And then the other one, which was so highly talked about by the other YouTuber that I was watching a video of, which I could remember the name of, I said that it was like Mac, was like this one here. Which is a really nice colour as well, but I, I like them better. The other two shades I got were these. This one is shade 18. This was the only matte one that I got. It was like a matte purple one. It's not actually. These have been kind of hugely anticipated because people have said how pigmented they are. And that is quite pigmented, but it's kind of pale. You can see that one. And this one, I look very big nine. I don't know if you can tell. You can't tell how dark it is. There you go. It's like a really dark, kind of purple blue. Mm. Yeah. This one's not so hot. That is quite sheer. I expected that to be a lot darker than it really is. That's this one. So the purple in actual fact is darker than that dark blue. If you look at the two colours, this one actually shows up darker than that one, which isn't great. Um. On the whole, I mean, they're a pound. It's really difficult to kind of review them against other things because they're a pound. They're not around on the sale, they're like the pixie stuff in the US. Uh, and they're a pound. How can you argue with that? Uh, some of this stuff I absolutely love. These, some of these greens are really gorgeous. And I think it's just a matter of finding the ones that are great, that are worth buying, and buying a ton of them um, before they stop making this stuff, which I'm sure they probably do. So, um, but I, I really, really like it. As a line, I think it's brilliant for people that are kind of starting out. And I've bought a lot of shades that I wouldn't spend a lot of money on because the stuff I wouldn't wear all the time. It's nice for people that want to try something different. So if you've never worn a green eyeshadow or if you've never worn a purple, a purple eyeshadow before, um, buy it from anyway. So I like this one. I never, ever wear a purple eyeshadow. Now, this I'll try because it was a pound. I'm not going to spend a pound on something from MAC that a pound. I'm not going to spend like £15, pounds, say, for something from MAC that I may never wear with my might hate. This is good for people that are trying to like, branch out or trying to just like pad out the makeup collection, I suppose. Um, I had to kind of get a, a few things to show you with because I've seen so many videos about it, I thought I can't, I can't not. Um, but on the whole, I think it's a really good line. The nail polish that I, I tried was really great. I know a lot of people said I would the lipsticks were, but I've got so many coloured lipsticks, I was looking for a nude and they didn't have anything that I was really after. So I didn't buy them for the sake of buying one from the line. So, on the whole, I'd give it a thumbs up. I think it's a really good line. Um, you've just got to pick and choose the stuff you want. I mean, it's all very well some people saying, oh, well, that's not very pigment, I don't like that. Some people might be looking for that. They might be looking for a sheer version of something you've got already, or you might just not want to look that in your face bright colour. I mean, these stretch so far. I put a little bit on and I like, I tried to blend it out a little bit into my brow bar and it went like, it would have gone all over my face. I've had to kind of cover up a big mess of stuff here where I wear, where it all went a little bit wrong. Um, but yeah, they are really highly pigmented and they will stretch. They'll, they'll last a long time. Um, so yeah, go out and buy some and try some for yourself because it's only a pound. Every product is a pound and they've got like over a hundred products I think it says. So, Enjoy the line. I really, really like it. Um, I'll probably get some more stuff from there to show you. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my other stuff. And comment and subscribe.